Hey guys, Shane with Construction Junkie, continuing our coverage of Procore Groundbreak 2019. And right now I'm in the SmartVid booth with Josh Canner, the founder and CEO of SmartVid. So, so Josh, traditionally construction companies have done a great job of taking pictures all over the, all over the job sites from beginning, middle to end. But there's a ton of data points that we're missing out, of, uh, out on currently. So tell us a little bit about how SmartVid can take those pictures, analyze them, and, and reduce, help us reduce risk on the job site. Sure, thanks Shane. Um, so photos have a ton of information in them. And what we've done at SmartVid in our first module, which is called safety monitoring, is we've built an artificial intelligence that can actually look at those construction photos and identify signals of risk. So just like Amazon has Alexa, we have a construction tuned AI engine that we've called Vinny. And Vinny has been trained to look for construction problems, whether it's standing water or uh, maybe you've, you're not supposed to use site ladders, built ladders on your job. We've actually, Vinny can see and tell the difference between a site built ladder and an extension ladder. Okay. He can identify workers, he can do PPE checks, he can do a whole bunch of stuff that generates a lot of data that goes way beyond what's in the photo to actually generating analytics. So you can use us like Sean Carvalho of Shaman, who's gonna be talking later here at Groundbreak, uh, they can use us on 150 projects to analyze them all for indicators of risk. And that's our first module, safety monitoring. Okay. Now, how do you get the pictures from in for, for Vinny to analyze? Yeah, it's a great question. It's why we're here at Procore. So we plug into all the existing places where you're gathering photos. We plug into Procore automatically and we start pulling all the photos out. So whether that's progress photos or key milestone documentation photos or really photos of any type, even punch list photos, we'll pull them out automatically and analyze them. Vinny works automatically in the background and then what you get is uh, you actually get a report of everything Vinny is seeing and, and what your risk levels are. Okay, great. So that's all looking in the past. Uh, what about looking towards the future? How, can we use your software to pr predict how where risks might exist? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Shane. <laughs> we, we didn't talk about that at all. <laughs> uh, so safety monitoring is the first module. We also have a module called safety observations, and then we have a third module in this, what we call a safety suite, uh, which is predictive analytics. So Vinny is looking for indicators of risk. What we've seen over the last year is that if you combine that with safety, uh, safety observations, rather, which is a really easy to use mobile app that allows field, folks in the field, whether it's a safety guy um, or the project engineer, all the way up to the project executive, to implement a company-wide platform and practice of taking field observations, both positive and negative, both by combining what Vinny sees with it, which is AI, with what people see, you get the best set of observations. You get observations from Vinny, observations from people, and then those both feed together into predictive analytics, and we're able to predict if an incident is going to happen on a specific job by actually looking at that data together and running some artificial intelligence on top of it. Okay, it's, pretty, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah so you got the, you got the three, three main functions. You got the um, AI, you have predictive analytics, and then you got the safety observations, which you said use the mobile app on site. Totally. Um, anything coming up in the in the future, or? Yeah. So one of the things we're really excited about is we're working with a group of contractors to organize uh, a think of it as a cross industry data data initiative where contractors like Suffolk and Shamit and uh, DPR and. Messer and Bartman, there's now 14 of them, um, are sharing data about safety to create better predictive models to do a better job of predicting what's going to happen in the future on job sites. Right. So that's really exciting for us. Um, it's top of mind for me because we have a meeting next week. Yeah, yeah and, and we talked about in the past how, you know, when it's uh, typically when a safety manager comes on site, he sees what he sees, and then that's that's the that's the conditions that he that he thinks are constantly on site. But we know when safety managers come on site, everybody's on their best behavior. Yeah. So then you build this data, this constant data stream, and that's kind of what you guys specialize in. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So safety monitoring and safety observations really is about getting more more people and more observations out into the work. Right. The safety observations module is designed for everybody to be making safety observations, not just the safety team. Everybody, and then all those are used to analyze and predict where the risk is gonna happen. 
Great. So how, how can people find more information about SmartVid? Go to smartvid.io. It's not it's not just our company name. That's our, also our web address, smartvid.io. Um, and you'll learn a lot more about it. You can also check out the Procore app marketplace. We have an embedded app experience now with Procore. Um, real easy to turn it on. Great. Thank you. So check out SmartVid and also check out Construction Junkie for more great groundbreak coverage coming up. Thank you.